Well good morning again. It's a beautiful sunny wintry morning and today I am doing another delivery and I'm off to North Kent to the Isle of Sheppey to deliver a Nissan Navara. Let's have a look around the vehicle. Well here we are then. It's a, an older vehicle today. It's a 63 plate so a late 2013 Nissan Navara. As you can clearly see this is the older style Navara which is known as the D40. Still a very popular, very capable vehicle. Lots of our customers at TMC really like these. Let's have a look inside. So we've got electric, electric driver's seat, heated leather seats, got cruise control, got reversing camera, dual zone climate control. But I'm all set up and ready to go, so I think it's time to head off. Okay, so 94 miles today according to Google Maps. It is a beautiful, crisp winter morning. So it's uh, all the way up the A3 today and onto the M25. They're doing roadworks at the A3 M25 junction, so there's usually a bit of a hold up there at the moment, to put it mildly. So hopefully that won't be too bad. But after that it's just M25 and then M26 into Kent and then I think the A249 up to the Isle of Sheppey. Take the next right onto Petersfield Road, A325. Yes ma'am. Right, just topped up the fuel, we're on the A3, should easily have enough now to get it to where it needs to go and to have a decent amount left over for the new owner. Obviously you don't want to deliver it with an empty fuel tank. So yeah, I always make sure that there's at least a reasonable amount in the tank when it arrives. Continue on A3 for two miles. This is the moment of truth how bad is this traffic going to be for Junction 10? Well for this area at the moment actually this is not too bad, I've seen a lot worse. But apparently this disruption, you can see all this work going on to the side of the carriageway at the moment, what they're doing is they're updating the M25 A3 interchange and apparently it's going to be going until I think sometime in 2025 when it will finally be done. It's better be worth it because they've chopped down an awful lot of trees. So the truck I'm delivering today I'm actually quite familiar with. I collected it from Huddersfield earlier this week. So I didn't, I didn't film on that day but I, I drove it well over 200 miles all the way back from Huddersfield. Uh, back down to TMC Oak Hanger and it's been there for a couple of days having a service and an MOT and it's now ready to go. I'm just coming into Kent now. Uh, we're on the M26 and it's uh, destined for a new life based on the Isle of Sheppey, North Kent. Spectacular bridge to drive over. 
Here we are on the Isle of Sheppey. I've never been here before. Well hello from Sittingbourne Station back on mainland UK. I've left the Isle of Sheppey. Um, I'm sorry that I didn't film the start of my train journey as I usually do. The uh, people who I took the uh, pickup truck to very kindly gave me a lift uh, to the station but I didn't know actually when the uh, train was due to arrive. So I got there and found out that there was literally about three minutes or two minutes until the train was leaving. So I had no time at all. I didn't even have a ticket actually. So I jumped straight on the train, bought my ticket on my phone uh, and I was off. I didn't have time to do any filming at all, but I'm here at Sittingbourne. I've got a connecting train into London, Victoria. Uh, in a few minutes. Again I wanted to make sure that I had an electronic ticket for when I was on the train because otherwise you know I wouldn't have had time to collect the ticket from the machine so uh, that's done uh, but of course that means I only have a ticket that takes me into London I'm gonna have to buy another ticket for the rest of my journey so uh, yeah it's all a bit on the fly right now I'm, I'm winging it uh, on the trains. London Victoria calling out Newington, Raynham, Well that was close. I was so busy filming that last bit on the uh, other platform that I almost missed my train but I'm on it.
It's all worked out okay so I've got to uh, London Waterloo uh, my train from Sittingbourne got me into Victoria on time I hope you've enjoyed my little journey through the underground via Westminster and now my train is uh, let's see when's my train my train is at 14.53 and uh, it's already at the platform so I haven't got too long to wait
Well, there we are then. Another day complete. One Nissan Navara delivered to its new owners on the Isle of Sheppey and one driver delivered by train again back to Bentley. Just got a few minutes to wait here. One of the guys from TMC will be along shortly to uh, give me a lift back to the dealership. Uh, and then that will be it for the day. So, uh, what's the time? It's uh, Yeah, it's just gone 4pm and I'm all done. So actually uh, quite a short and sweet day, but a very nice one. And I hope that you've enjoyed it too. Well, I'm still here. They forgot to come and get me from the station, so <laughs> I'm stuck here at Bentley Station just for a few minutes. But hey, you know, it's a nice place to actually spend a bit of time. I like these little countryside stations and it's given me a bit of time to film some trains and some birds. And uh, yeah, I'm just quite happy. I'm quite happy here, pop the fact that it is freezing. We're all very busy at the moment. I think you can forgive uh, them occasionally for getting to pick up a driver from the station. These things happen. But yeah, I'll be here for another 15 minutes or so and I'll see you next time.